I'm telling you, Pendleton, there's nothing like Carvanovos in the early 42nd century. What month? Well, it's March is good, but best time of year is probably during November. What are you on about? Ah, uh, well, your Gregorian calendar. My didn't... what? You know, the calendar that you use in the 21st century on Earth to measure time. You know, the one with 365 days most of the time. Funnily enough, it was 364 days one time when... Doctor, what's going on this time? <laughs> We're caught in a temple of destruction. It's centered around the moon. By what, Doctor? Paradox, Pendleton. Really big paradox. So big that the TARDIS's very existence is threatened. We'll have to have a look around. Let's Doctor, see. Big Ben, it, it's been destroyed. But it can't be. I checked the year before we left the TARDIS, Pendleton. This is 2115. But that's impossible. Pendleton, what about that pod? It looks like a transplant. Unauthorized humans located. You are our prisoners. Run, Pendleton, quickly! We can't go this way. And we can't go back, Pendleton. I'm afraid we have no choice. Prisoners of the dark. For better or worse. You will follow me back to the transmat or you will be exterminated. Captain, wake up! Harrison, what happened? The Dalek saucer, sir. It... It shot us out of the sky. Lieutenant Urala and Lieutenant Chenley are dead. Dead? But the SS Nuluk was built to withstand a power of a thousand atomic bombs. Well, I'm afraid, sir, that what they have is more powerful. What about Lieutenant Travick or First Officer Marsh? They were in a different part of the ship when we came crashing down. Well, at least we can hope that... You will follow me. Do not attempt to escape. You will remain here until the transmat is fully charged. If you attempt to escape, then I will be forced to exterminate you. This is very interesting. And worrying. This really is the... The Daleks have changed history. We don't invade here until... You! Oh! Hello again. Lieutenant William Kent Glover. Isn't it? Would you... Wait! You know them, Captain? Captain, eh? 
You've had a big promotion since the last time I met you. Harrison, remember that time I told you and the rest of the squadron about a man called the Doctor who saved me from a time loop back when I was lieutenant on the SS Blaken? Well, this is him. But he looks exactly as you described him. That happened ten years ago, didn't it? Yeah, well, I specialize in time. Enough talking. You will move on to the Transmat Doctor and Lieutenant Harrison. How do you know my name? We have access to your planet's facial database. Now move! The Transmat is fully charged. Doctor, don't go! I promise I will get back here and I will find you. Hello! This is my companion Anthony. I used to travel with a nut called Hazel. But she's busy with some celebrity chat show right now. Anyway, I'm the Doctor. But, but the Doctor just left on the transmat. Yes, he's the Doctor too, the one before me. When I die, I regenerate. Regenerate? Yes, he changes completely. Appearance, voice, personality. Everything basically in order to cheat death. But that's... Preposterous, I know, but it's true. Surely the incarnation of me that you know told you? No. No, he never told me. And he never told me either. Really? Oh, and it's nice to see you again, Glover. Anyway, we'd better get away from here. There's more than one faction of Daleks on Earth right now, and no doubt at least one faction will have sent a patrol to investigate the destruction of these Daleks. You will follow us. Davros. Dav? Ross? He's the creator of the Daleks? Yes, I am indeed their creator. He's more horror than I expected. But you are their prisoners now. I'm guessing you're behind this insane paradox of a plan. No, oh, I hate to say it, Doctor. But I'm just as much a prisoner of the Daleks as you two are. You will be silent. The Emperor is coming. All hail the Emperor. At last, Doctor, you are within our power. Beep, beep. Moth, you seriously can't afford sounds, or at least get some from the internet. It's an audio drama. We are on a budget. No, we don't. We're not exactly Big Finish, are we? Mind you. I have done some really great audios for them, and... No, we have a budget, you potato. I'm not a potato, and I'll have you know that I want... I'm... No, you didn't, you spoon. Doctor, are you listening? And don't be so rude. It's just... banter. Well, it's not exactly the time for banter. It's time for worker. And have you checked the scanner? Oh, this is bad. Very bad. I hate paradoxes. What is happening? Hang on time, Colin. We're in time round. My Daleks. No, it's always the Daleks. Daleks. Oh, for Please, spare me. I've told you all I know. The Imperial fleet are launching an attack on this base today. And you know this because you have been helping them. All who help the Imperial fleet must be exterminated. The Imperial fleet shall be crushed. They are the true renegades. Don't shoot! No! Please, have pity on me! We do not feel pity. No! <laughs> Do you think you'll take us prisoner or kill us? Well, I'd say exterminate. Well, that's that, Mister. Seven. I'm going to run into the alleyway to distract the Dalek. Exterminate. And I lied to you, but you get away from me quickly. But that's an order, Lieutenant. 
Resistance is futile. Dalek are masters of Earth. You must be exterminated. You will never defeat us. You Moira's dustbin. Exterminate. Ah. Oh, what is it? TARDIS. Is something boring happening on Earth again? I'm always on Earth. What are you lot up to this time? We have been recruited by a higher power to capture all of your recruited. incarnations. What? what? How is that possible? Daleks recruited? Who is this higher power? We also have to capture your next incarnation. Well, I know about the annoying one and the motto one. From what we've been told, he's a bit preposterous. Oh, I bet he is. You couldn't be me for as long as I'd be me without getting a little bit preposterous afterwards. Does that make sense? Anyway, what is stopping you? You could tear his plans apart looking for me. Two of them have recently materialized on Earth, and the final one has been captured by a rogue faction of Daleks. The Renegade Legion. Oh, yes. <sighs> what is it? That is hilarious. What's funny? They're fighting amongst themselves. They've done it before, too. Yes, but the Renegade shall soon be destroyed. What does that Dalek mean? You shall not advance closer to the Emperor. We have deployed several assault squadrons to attack their base. How can it taking you so long to do that. Oh, oh, that is good, that is good. This higher power you're working, for some reason they crippled it. They've crippled your forces, let me guess, to ensure you don't betray them. <laughs> your Daleks are battered, injured, and incapable. And they've also had to put up with our Earth Defense forces. Ah, so that's why you and Clover are here. I'm guessing the distress signal was sent out to all starships in the nearby area by the ground forces. Yes, Doctor. We were the closest to Earth, and even then it just took us two months just to get back. The other ships shouldn't take that much longer to return. Ah, that's why you're attacking now. Daleks. To eliminate one problem before the other gets worse. We have already destroyed the first. We shall destroy the others. Daleks will rule. Daleks will rule. Daleks will rule. Daleks will rule.